Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss how you can secure the data in simple storage service. Okay, what are the different possible options are there to make your whole system more secured with respect to data lake aspect or big data ETL pipeline. That's what I am going to cover in my this particular video. Okay, so basically the broad picture of data security can be shown like this kind of tree structure from left to right okay so here it is our amazon s3 which is simple storage service widely used as data lake in big data pipelines now there can be two possible situations where you might have to secure your data one is in transit okay that is data basically travels from on prem or some other system to s3 or from S3 data you are sending to some system or on-premise devices, okay? That is called in transit. That is basically the, the data which is traveling, okay? That time how to make secure? Another can be at rest, okay? That is while the data is stored in the disk in Amazon S3 data centers, then how to make your data secured? That time you have to think like data at rest way, okay? Now, if your data is traveling, then obviously S3 use SSL. Okay, so basically using HTTPS, that is secured HTTP only communication happens. So that is completely secured kind of stuff. And second option can be client side encryption. Okay, before sending the data in S3, what you can do? You can encrypt the data and send then the data via network that way no hacker or third party can read the data or misuse the data okay client side encryption if you do that means you are encrypting before sending the data itself then you have to manage the keys basically what encryption algorithm you have used that those things if you manage then that is obviously a good thing when you are sending the data or data is traveling okay right another possibility what i discussed is data at rest then the, the if the data is present in s3 data center that time to protect the data there are two options one is aws kms you can use to encrypt the data basically so what will happen if you enable this kms encryption for data what is what you want to store in s3 what will happen when you will upload it will first encrypt the data using kms and then will write the encrypted data in the disk of s3 data center okay and then when you are requesting to read the data or get the data that time first the encrypted data will go via kms then it will be decrypted and you will be getting the decrypted data okay that is from an user aspect whether the data is encrypted using kms or unencrypted data that time you will not face any difference the difference will be in the background how the data is getting stored in the disk okay if you are enabling kms encryption then it will be stored as encrypted data in the s3 data center disk and if you are not enabling kms encryption it will be stored as it is unencrypted format okay but anyway when you are requesting something then in the backend encryption decryption will be happening automatically and you will be getting the normal data okay so this is how you can secure your data which is at rest okay that is those data which are stored in s3 data center disk okay another possibility is again client side encryption which we have seen in this case also when the data is traveling right so always you can send the data as encrypted text or some particular format then the encrypted data will be stored in the s3 data center disk right so that way also you can make secure obviously and sometimes companies prefer both approach that is client side encryption also they will do and as well as using kms also they will try to encrypt okay that is uh, basically before writing the data it will be encrypting and while fetching the data first it will decrypt and then it will return to user okay so this is kind of mixed uh, security one more extra layer of security you can add by implementing both of them and remember there is a very popular term this is called client side encryption and if you are using data at rest and using kms then that is called server side encryption okay because s3 is taking care of that encryption decryption process while writing the data reading the data from the disk of the s3 data center okay that is s3 server backend server they are basically that processing is going on that's why it is also called server side encryption okay so this is the broad picture already in my previous video i have covered how to use kms as server 
side encryption for those data which are at rest. Now let me discuss just a small demo on client side encryption how you can do. Okay, one simple Python code I am going to discuss, but before that you should have a clear idea about server side encryption, how to encrypt the data which is at rest in S3 using KMS. For that I will request you to go through the link given in the description box, understand that and here I am explaining client side encryption. Okay. So for client side encryption first step is go to KMS or key management service and then here I will be going to customer managed keys and here I will be creating a key. Okay, symmetric key I am using. Then next, okay, demo yt server side, okay, right, and then I can go to next. I let all these things as default. You can choose here basically who can be the administrator of this particular key. Then you can choose here which users can use this key for encryption and decryption. Currently, I am not choosing that, but you can be more specific and assign this to some particular users, okay. So, see here our KMS CMK that is customer managed key is generated. Now what I will do, I will go to security credential and I will download the access key and secret key as for the development. Okay. Create new access key and secret key. So this will be basically creating the access key and secret key for my root account. Okay. It is not at all secured. So always it is suggested create a separate user which, which is having very less role power. Okay right but for the time being as this is kind of demo i will be deleting uh, once the demo is complete this access key and secret key that's why i am using this now if i go to the this particular collab notebook i can show you what are the codes i have written so first step is pip install boto3 i am installing boto3 because it will help us to connect with aws services and python okay then i am installing cryptography okay which will be using for encrypting the data using the KMS key, okay, right, and then we will upload in S3 if required, okay. So, see here import base Boto3, import base 64, import logging, and from cryptography.farnet, import farnet. So, what is farnet? Farnet basically guarantee that message is encrypted, okay. You cannot read the message without the key, okay. Farnet is basically an implementation of symmetric authentication cryptography, okay. So, this Farnet package will be basically using to encrypt our data using KMS key, okay. To show you how this particular client side encryption happens, okay. Now, here we need to put AWS access key and secret key. So, here I will be going and I will be grabbing the AWS access key and here i will be taking aws secret key okay right and then here i will put and then here i am creating the boto, boto 3 session my region is us 2 if you see here it i created in ohio region which is us 2 so i am using that particular one only and then here i am using that particular session to create the client for kms okay and then to create a key Okay, KMS is basically key management service, right? So you can use this particular service to create key or generate key which you can use for encrypting documents or something. Okay, and then store in S3. Okay, that is called client side encryption. In client side itself, we are encrypting the data using a key, and then we have to only take the responsibility of securing the encryption key and all this because we are we as a developer will be knowing, we as a client side will be knowing that what technique we have applied for encryption what is the key and all those okay and then here this is the code which i copied from documentation which basically used to create the data key which we can use for encryption purpose okay so just run that and then here i will run this particular code here client error we are getting okay so here basically create data key if you see this function first parameter it is expecting as kms cmk id okay so we'll be taking that so if I go to this particular one, what we created, this is the ID. I'll be taking that and then here I will paste that and I will run this one. Okay. Base 64 is not defined. I think I will have not run this particular one. Okay. Right. And then I'll run this particular one again and it is successful. Now if I check the key, which basically we are using. If you see that this is the key encryption key okay now we will be using our farnet from cryptography to encrypt the data 
okay so first let me upload some data here i'll go to desktop and here data maybe i'll be going to aws lambda and here data engineering test questions one question set for data engineering exam i have uploaded okay now here see what we are doing we are asking for input file path okay and where the encrypted data which we are going to basically encrypt using this particular key where that particular encrypted data will be stored that file path we are mentioning and then we are using this farnet and the key what is key key is basically this data key right so that one we will be using okay and then here what we are doing here we are opening that particular document which we want to basically encrypt and then here f dot encrypt we are using to encrypt the data and then we are writing the encrypted data in this particular destination file location okay that's it so here i will be taking this particular one and i will be putting that here okay and then run this particular one so here here enter the file path so basically this file path i will be copying suppose this file i want to encrypt i will paste that enter the output file path output file path i will be giving as encrypted.txt okay so here it is done so if i now refresh this particular page here you will see that encrypted.txt is there let me show you the document so if i download the actual file you will be able to see that the actual file is like this kind of thing it is having due date points submission how the assignment has to be submitted but if you check this particular encrypted.txt if i download this particular one and show you you cannot understand this without the decryption okay because this is completely an encrypted file okay so this is how you can encrypt the data before sending to s3 and then whether you are sending via network or whether the data is at rest in s3 data center does not matter because if your data is like this then someone if they don't know this particular key they cannot decode the data or understand the actual data right so you have to make sure as an user as a developer how to secure this particular key because if someone get this that's it they can easily decode right so now i'll show you the decoding technique as well so to decode that what we are doing here encrypted file path whatever we have given as input in our earlier code that one we are basically opening and reading that so basically we are these particular two codes are reading this encrypted.txt which is encrypted thing and then we are using f.decrypt what is f f is basically format of data key what we created okay using data key that we are using and then we are writing back in testing decode.txt file okay maybe this particular decryption path also you can take as user input no problem now if i run this particular one if i just refresh this particular page see here testing decode.txt is coming i can download this particular file and if i try to show you see again from the encrypted data we are getting back the decrypted data that's it okay that is basically we have to use this particular one very important that is farnet okay which we are using to encrypt the data and to generate the data key basically which we are using as encryption key to encrypt the data we have to use this particular create data key function okay which basically calling the kms client what we created is in boto3 session and then it is calling generate key method which is passing the cmk id and key space what is key space key space as you can see at 256 another option can be 128 so if you are using this one aes 128 then it will be basically creating the 128 bit symmetric keys and if you are using 256 it will be generating 256 bit symmetric keys okay and here we have created this particular customer managed keys so to create this kind of encrypted keys as it is not take, taking the responsive data of storage so it will not incur extra cost but obviously as you are using kms for this particular one obviously you will be char getting charged so better once the poc is done or if, if your project for your project it is not required then disable that okay so while disabling it will be giving a warning okay that whatever file you have earlier encrypted that you cannot decrypt further yeah that's totally fine i will disable the key okay once that is done, what I will do, I will schedule key deletion. Okay, maybe for seven days I want to keep. Okay, so why this waiting period? Because maybe 
suppose you are planning to delete and after some days your mindset is changed you are planning to revert back then you can revert back within this particular period of time so here i can give serial deletion confirm this and then here click on serial deletion okay here pending deletion is showing after seven days it will be deleted that's how you basically encrypt the data from client side before sending to S3. Okay, SSL is very simple. We no need to do anything. Simple HTTPS it will be following for securing the data when, when the data is traveling via internet, right? And this KMS concept server side encryption also I covered in my earlier video. Okay, so this is all for my this video. All the codes I'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section. If you want, you can go through that. Thank you for watching.